So this sector that Chrysalid mentioned, have you guys found it? Yes, we found it thanks to the information that Diana supplied for us. Strangely, it's an abandoned island that we never knew it existed. I mean, we practically examined that entire area so many times, but we never found that place. There are possibly devices on that island to prevent satellite images. Whatever that Ignis hides there, it is very important. Yes, I heard it from Leona. Why the heck are we going to this island anyway? Because Chrysalid said so? That guy's not to be trusted. I will believe that as well, but after all that we heard, I believe it is very vital to check that island first. Just go easy on the kid. He doesn't want to admit it out loud, but he's pretty concerned about Kula. I see. I will order a pilot to fly you there, but it will take some hours, so take that chance to get some rest. You want us to wait? Who knows what they are doing to Kula right about now? This is the best we can do. You don't have intention on swimming to the island by yourself, do you? <sighs> Diana, there's something I've been thinking about. In fact, I've been thinking about it for a very long time, but I never had the chance to talk to you about it. Has Nets ever made deals with Rugal in the past? Why do you ask me that now? After KOF-99, we confiscated many of the weapons the Kyokos were carrying. They were very identical to the ones that Rugal sold in the black market. After KOF-95, we started to investigate the invest equipment that Rugal had in his position. So advanced that even brainwashed my old friend Saisu. That is one of the many leads that got us to nests in the first place. That I do not know. I was never part of the group that made any of those deals. But I can say it is possibly because our scientists were working on a clone of Rugal. A clone of Rugal? Yes. The fighter who could perform so perfectly Krauser's Kaiser Wave and Giza's Repican definitely caught our interest. But we have to give up on our project. Namely, the clone was made, but it's nothing but an empty shell with no mind. So, it cannot hold any threat to anyone. Why did you people give up on that project? I know that what I'm about to say might sound surreal, but it's true. Rugal's cruelty was so huge that even his own blood is contaminated by the same viciousness. We realized that when we first implanted his DNA in one of our kill clones, it completely affected him like a virus on a computer. The clone started to behave so violently, so brutally, that he even started to kill some of our high-breaking agents like they were toys. Even so the clone was not put to rest, he was safely sealed until our scientists could find a way to control him completely. So were the others of the Nest's president. That clone became known as simply as Kuzanagi. I see. Would it be this fellow? Why, yes it is. You got these images from satellite? Yes, with the Nest agent attack you guys in Portugal, we got satellite footage of this unknown character. <gasps> no! It cannot be! You know this guy, Diana? Well, yeah, yes, but but if he's helping the remaining Nest agents, then, then this task will be more difficult than we thought. So who's the weirdo? <sighs> As you all know, Nest was always interested in the Kusanagi blood for so many years. Our projects were divided into two parts when we first started the studies of the Kusanagi blood, the Project K and the Project NTK. This fellow you see right here is simply known as Nameless. 
He is the 9999th test subject and the only survivor of the Project K. He and his brothers were tested to see how normal DNA could resist to the Kusanagi DNA. Most of his brothers either exploded or suffered from the severe burns due to the genetic mutation. Nameless himself has come close to death at least 180 times, but it was thanks to him that we developed most of our researches, which helped us to develop powers such as case and many others. The poor soul only knew misery after all the pain he was forced to endure. Damn. Poor guy. So, all the experiments that were implanted on me were perfected thanks to what they've done to Nameless. Yes, but this guy is far more powerful than what you can possibly imagine. He has the Kusanagi DNA as well as your own. What? What? You gotta be joking us. Nameless has the DNA of Kyo and K? How can that be even possible? All thanks to the numerous experimentations that he was forced to endure. We added K's DNA after our battle in Kyo F2000. We were a bit jumpy after Cologne Zero betrayal, so the Nest superiors decided to carry on with this plan. Man, the two combinations of the mightiest DNA in one? This guy must be one strong mother. But why didn't Nameless ever participate in the King of Fighters? The original plan was to make Nameless participate in the last KOF, but he became too much powerful that they decided to let k 49 take his place. They did not want to risk having him turn on them like K did. Even if they had a trump card on Nameless, they did not want to risk. Trump card? What do you mean? I believe that will take us to the Project NTK. Nameless lived a miserable existence until he spotted a girl named Itzold. Whenever he was badly injured, he would see her near the infirmary. She always volunteered to hate him when he was injured. Though he was usually too wounded to speak to her, he fell in love with her. But the truth is that Isold was part of the NTK project conducted by Nests and had the power to control ice. However, her abilities were deemed to be lacking and she was marked as a defective experiment until Isold saw Nameless. Seeing the connection between the two subjects, Ness allowed the two to normally see one another to bring out their full potential. Regrettably, Isol died from her testing. Rather than waste her progress, Ness crafted her DNA into Nameless Glove. Her abilities keep the flame specified until it's needed for use. Glove? The glove that keeps the guy in total control of his flames? Just like Ace? You can say that. Seeing how heartbroken Nameless has become, the Nest president made a deal with him. If he indisputably follows any others he's given by Nests, they will restore his old with the very DNA that is crafted on his glove. But they didn't have any intentions on keeping their word. Ness didn't want to waste the weapon that they created. <laughs> well, yes, that is true. How long before we can depart? I want to get this over with. I believe in less than two hours. And while you people are looking for clues on that island, we will investigate the Ness base in Thailand to make sure it's safe to make a full-scale assault. Someone who had a hard life like I did. I knew all the ones who became test subjects suffered, but Nameless suffered more than I did. Worst of all, he was manipulated into following orders by Ness because of his dead girlfriend. Cowards.